Let's take a look at using bearings and maps. Now, you could be asked a question where you need to work out the distance in real life between two places which are marked on a map. For example, what's the distance in real life between the crown and the fox and pheasant? Well, we know we've got a scale of one centimeter equals 100 meters. So what that means is that for every one centimeter on the map, that's 100 meters in real life. So all we need to do is measure the distance between the crown and the fox and pheasant. So what we're gonna do is grab our rulers put one end on the X of the crown and the other on the X of the fox and pheasant and we'll see that that is 12 centimeters. So if one centimeter is 100 meters, then 12 centimeters is going to be 100 meters multiplied by 12 and that is therefore 1200 meters. So in real life, that is a distance of 1200 meters. Although maybe, maybe you'll be asked to give your answer in kilometers that might be a bit more realistic, in which case we'll divide that by a thousand because there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. So that is 1.2 kilometers. You could be asked to work out the bearing of the fox and pheasant from the crown. So what this means is if you're at the crown and you're facing north, how many degrees do you need to turn in this direction until you're facing the fox and pheasant? In other words, what is this angle here? So what we need to do is grab our protractor Put the center of our protractor on the X of the crown. Make sure the line of the protractor is in line with this line and it will be uh, in line in this direction as well. And just see what number north is now facing. Um, now, I'm not going to um, actually take a measurement. I'm just going to guess um, that it's about 75 degrees. It's got to be less than 90 degrees because east is 90 and this is we're not going as far around as east. So I'm just going to guess that it's about 75 degrees um, because it's difficult to demonstrate how to use a protractor on screen. Uh, and remember that we write the bearing as a three figure bear bearing, so that is 0, 7, 5 degrees. So the bearing of the fox and pheasant from the crown is 75 degrees. If you needed to work at the bearing of the crown from the fox and pheasant, you could either measure this angle here, or if we know that it's set the bearing of the fox and pheasant from the crown is 75, then the bearing of the crown from the fox and pheas pheasant is the opposite of 75. In other words, 75 plus or minus 180 degrees. Um, here, I'll definitely add 180 degrees, otherwise I'd have a negative number, which would be a bit confusing. And 180 plus 75 is 255 degrees. So the bearing of the fox and pheasant from the crown is 75, but the bearing of the crown from the fox and pheasant is 255. Another way you could work it out though, is just extend this north line south. This angle here is 180, and then you just need to add on this angle here, and this angle here is 75 degrees as well, because this north line and this north line are parallel and here we have two alternate angles so a few ways you can solve that problem